Okay, our topic for today is technology as a way of revealing. Okay, from the question of technology by Martin Heidegger. Okay, Martin Heidegger is widely acknowledged as one of the most important philosophers of the 20th century. He was a German philosopher who was part of the continental tradition of philosophy. His stern opposition to positivism and technological world domination received unequivocal support from leading postmodernists and post-structuralists of the time, including Jacques Derrida, Michael Foucault, and Jean Francois Lyotard. Okay? The progress of science and technology is similar to the progress of human civilization. Of course, if there is a progress in science, hand in hand, human civilization also progressed. As a man flourishes, so does science and technology. Of course, as a man flourish, you can see also that science and technology flourishes. How can you say that a man flourishes if he lacks advancement in science and technology, diba? When you grow, that also means that your technology is growing with you, diba? Even your knowledge in science. In the pursuit of a good life, man may acquire, con consume, or destroy unknowingly or not things that he or she should not. This is true in the flourishing of science and technology. According to Martin Heidegger, we must undertake reflection and meditative thinking, allowing nature to reveal itself to us without forcing it to determine what is truly important in order to appreciate the benefits that humans get from science and technology we must examine not only their utility or use such as providing us with goods convenience or knowledge but their great greater impact on humanity as a whole so para daw mas ma-appreciate natin yung nakukuha nating beneficial things sa technology and science brought by science, kailangan din hindi lang daw natin inaalam yung gamit niya, okay? But also, we should be aware of their greater impact in the future. Dapat alam din natin kung ano yung idudulot nun sa atin in the long run, okay? Martin Heidegger in this work, The Question of Technology, tells us that technology is commonly understood as both a means manufacturing and utilizing equipment, tools, and machines, the things themselves and the needs and ends these things serve, okay? And a human activity, which is posting ends and procuring the utilizing the means of to them, okay? An instrumental and anthropological definition of technology. He also said that this may not be necessarily true, but is correct. Okay, being correct may lead to the truth because we all know that if you are right, then you leads to the truth. So, kaya nga sinasabi nila na the truth is the way. Okay? Because if you are true to yourself or true to something, and you can never go wrong if you are true. Okay? He said that the technology is a mode of revealing for it is a way to reveal truth that is more meaningful than the superficial of practical use of technology. Of course, if you are being true to yourself, you are completely honest with what you feel, okay? Or what you deeply value and desire. It also means communicating your feelings, okay? Or your knowledge. That's why if you are being true, you are correct, okay? Okay, to know more about the life and philosophy of Heidegger, Watch a five-minute YouTube video entitled The Philosophy of Martin Heidegger, which can be accessed on this link, okay? This link on your screen, okay? You can watch his life there. It is very short, okay? The essence of technology. Okay, let's talk about the essence of technology. Science and technology are responsible for the ways a society is continuously being modernized. Science and technology continuously seep into the way the people go about their lives. The widespread of science and technology must not block the basic principle of ethics and morality. 
it should allow the human person to flourish alongside scientific progress and technological development. From the treatise of Martin Heidegger, the question concerning technology explains the two widely embraced definitions of technology. Okay, that is 1977. Now, how does technology affect morality ba kasi? Okay? Science and technology, it helps people become healthier, more educated, more loving of God and neighbor. Okay? And they have been affected through a better decision making. Okay? And when does technology become bad or will do the opposite naman? Okay? Sometimes it makes us a seeker, less educated, less loving of others, and worse at making moral decisions. It can be both. It's up to you how to use a technology in your ways. It's, it's, for, it's up to you if you use it to the good or to the bad. That's why it is said here that the widespread of science and technology must not block the basic principle of ethics and morality because science and technology is good until you forgot your morals okay now there are two widely embraced definitions of technology one is instrumental two is anthropological okay technology means to an end why why does it mean to an end okay technology is not an end in itself it means to an end okay technology is viewed as a tool available to individuals groups and communities that desires to make an impact on society okay bakit technology is not an end in itself it means to an end okay it is important to keep in mind that data and technology are a means to an end not the end itself okay and that is particularly important when you're making decisions about collecting data selecting technology and using technology okay let us define this to an end what does we really mean in when we say to an end okay we, when we define a means to an end we mean to say something done only to produce a desired result okay if we end something there must be a result so this is how we mean when we say it is a means to an end okay we are eyeing for a result okay there must be a result Okay, the use of technology varies from individual to individual, groups to groups, and communities to communities according to their individual and collective functions, goals, and aspirations. Okay, in every culture we have, we have different technology because technology advances according to our culture also, okay? While technology is widespread, knowing its functions requires paying attention to how human use it as a means to an end, okay? Technology is an instrument aimed at getting things done, okay? As I was saying kanina, we mean it to an end as a result, okay? We need a result to consider it as an end, okay? Okay, anthropological definition naman. Technology is a human activity, okay? To achieve an end and to produce and use a means to an end is by itself is a human activity. Okay, we cannot deny that it is still a human activity, okay? Even if it is technology or the technology does it, it is still a human activity, okay? The production or invention of technological equipment, tools, and machines, and the purpose and functions they serve are what we define technology, okay? Technology as a way of revealing again by Heidegger stressed that the true can only be pursued through the correct. Simply, what is correct leads to what is true. He envisioned technology as a way of revealing as a mode of bringing forth. Okay? Bringing forth can be understood through the ancient Greek philosophical concept, poesis. Okay? It refers to the act of bringing something out of a concealment. By bringing out of concealment, the truth of, this, of that something is revealed. Okay? 
the truth is understood through another ancient Greek concept of aletheia. Okay? It is translated as unclosedness, unconcealedness, disclosure, or truth. Okay? It is translated as unclosedness, unconcealedness, disclosure, or truth. Heidegger's technology is a way of revealing our poesis that discloses Althea, the truth. Techne, the Greek word for technology, but according to Heidegger, the revealing of truth into the splendor of radiant appearance was also called techne, the poesis of fine arts. Techne resembles the term episteme that refers to the human ability to make and perform. Technology as poesis, does modern technology bring forth or challenge forth? According to Heidegger, in the question concerning technology postulated that both primitive crafts and modern technologies are revealing, he explained that modern technology is revealing, not in the sense of bringing forth or poesis. He made clear distinction between technology and modern technology. Modern technology challenges nature by extracting something from it and transforming, storing, and distributing it. From the Heidegger's question, it is clear that the essence of modern technology is not to bring forth in the sense of poesis. Instead, he considers modern technology's way of revealing as a way of challenging forth. Challenging forth because it makes people think how to do things faster, more effectively, and with less effort. It prompts people into dominating and in framing the Earth's natural resources. Well, he means here that technology is indeed revealing, not in sense of bringing forth our poesis, okay? He said that, or maybe he believed that this um, approaches to technology is correct, okay? The instrumental and anthropological definitions are correct, but they do not go deep enough okay of to the real meaning or to the real importance of human activity under technology and they are not yet true so because of that they are not yet true okay so sabi niya tama naman tama naman yung definition pero hindi pa siya ganun katotoo so it's not yet true so heidegger's bringing forth in which humans only give a form of to what already exists without disruption and control and then challenging for it where humans control the productive process and according to him it reduced into something else and often inferior to its true essence okay okay challenging for it reduces objects as a standing reserve or something to be disposed of by the two who inframe them humans. This is very evident in the way the people exploit natural resources with very little concern for the ecological consequences that come with it. Challenging for it is a result of modern technology is also evident in the information age such that greater control of information to profit from its value gives rise to concerns about privacy and protection of human rights challenging part of modern technology is seen everywhere okay in the rise and depletion of petroleum a, strat a strategic resource okay as of now we can see yang mahal na ng gasolina diba the introduction and use of synthetic dyes artificial flavorings and the toxic materials into the consumer's stream that bring about adverse effects on human health and the use of ripening agents in agriculture that poses threats to food safety and health security so not all technological advancement that we use nowadays is not um, promising to our health in the future okay we can see this natural this uh, food products that are not natural okay they are canned they are sometimes artificial and it's not good diba? there are studies that chinese people 
has a great number in cancer. Okay, they are a country with the high rate of cancer because why? They are very prone to eating canned or instant noodles, diba? Right? Because uh, there is there is a study that in noodles, some noodles, rather they have uh, or they contain borax, and that's very threatening to the health. Okay. Okay, and framing is a modern technology's way of revealing if there's an if the essence of technology can be understood as a way of bringing forth the truth in the sense of poesis it is though in framing that modern technology reveals humankind's desire to control everything including nature is captured in the process in framing according to heidegger is similar to two ways of looking at the world okay calculative thinking and meditative thinking Calculative thinking, humans desire to put an order to nature to better understanding and control it. Meditative thinking, humans allow nature to reveal itself to them without the use of force or violence. Okay, calculative thinking tends to be more commonly utilized primarily because humans desire to control due to their fear of irregularity okay modern technology challenges human to inframe nature humans become part of the standing reserve and an instrument of technology to be exploited in the order of nature the role humans take as instruments of technology through inframing is called destiny in destiny Humans are challenged for by in framing to reveal what is real. The destiny of humans to reveal nature carries with the danger of misconstruction or misinterpretation. So here, what do you think? Is technology dangerous to human? Of course not. Humans makes technology dangerous not the technology itself makes itself dangerous okay remember that the there is no demonry of technology but rather there is the mystery of its essence no nga ba yung essence niya because if you are going to look at the different sides of technology it can be good or bad eh it's up to human beings on how to use technology okay the dangers of technology okay the dangers of technology lies in how humans let themselves be consumed by it as i was saying kanina diba it is up to humans pa rin on how to utilize the technology in their good okay okay although humans are looked into the cycle of bringing forth or challenging forth it is their responsibility to recognize how they become instruments of technology the brazilian paulo coelho once remarked that it is boastful for humans to think that nature needs to be saved. Okay? Bakit man? Bakit ano? It is boastful for humans daw to think that nature needs to be saved. Kasi nature itself has its own natural way of repairing itself. So how can you destroy something na meron siyang natural way of repairing? That's why Paolo Coelho said that it is boastful for us that we can think that we can repair something that can repair itself, okay? You know what? I have read some books of Paolo Coelho, such as Veronica Decides to Die and The Alchemist. You should try reading some of his books. It is really good, okay? Um, in facing the dangers of technology, the fear of disappearing from the face of the earth should concern people more potently than the fear of the earth disappearing, okay? Sabi niya, mas matakot tayo na mawawala tayo sa earth because yung earth natin is not disappearing itself. Andiyan lang siya, okay? We will be gone in this earth, but still, earth will still be here. Sabi niya, okay? As tenants on earth, people must not allow themselves to be consumed by technology lest they lose the essence of who they are as human beings. Because we, as human beings, we are innate. 
pinanganak tayong ganito. Pinanganak tayong walang technology. So, because of technology daw, we lose the essence of being human. Kay bakit? ba? Diba? When we talk with someone, we use technology. There is no such thing as ano na, intimate conversation, di ba? Even you say intimate conversation, sana is face-to-face. But now, pag naligaw tayo, phone na yung gamit natin. So, where's the essence of being human there, di ba? When we meet someone, we meet someone online. Tinder, or kung ano man yung mga dating app na yan. And uh, there is no scene evidence of human interactions now when we meet someone new, di ba? So, where is the nature... Where is the essence of being human there? Okay? So, sometimes we forget na how to be human na because of technology, di ba? Do we agree? Okay? Now, art as the saving. Friedrich Holbrin, a German poet, quoted by Heidegger, said, But where danger is, grows the saving power also. Following this, the saving power can be traced exactly where the danger is, in the essence of technology. Heidegger proposed art as the saving power and the way of enframing, and art was simply called thekne. Heidegger saw art as an act of the mind, for example, a thekne that protected and had great power over the truth. By focusing on art, people are unable people are able to see more clearly how art is embedded in nature. Art encourages humans to think less from a calculative standpoint where nature is viewed as an ordered system. Instead, it inspires meditative thinking where nature is seen as an art and that, in all of art, nature is most poetic. Okay, it was said here that where danger is, grows the saving power also. So, if there is danger in technology, there is also a saving power found in it. Questioning as the piety of thought. According to Heidegger, questioning is the piety of thought. Piety, according to Heidegger, means obedience and submission. Okay, the closer we came to danger, the more brightly do the ways into the saving power begin to shine and the more questioning we become for questioning is the piety of thought the closer we, we are to danger for example um an experiment or a technology failed every failure leads to understanding or learning every failure leads to a better discovery because uh, every discovery came from failure okay so sabi niya ev- the closer we come to danger though the more bright they do the ways into saving power begin because the more we we came closer to danger the more we discover the right way of discovering things or the way the right way to discover something okay every failed experiment leads to a discovery okay so, for questioning is the piety of the thought. When we say piety, thou is um, obedience and submission. For, for example, in an experiment, you submit yourself, all your knowledge or your efforts to this, to this experiment, and you trust the experiment to succeed. So, you submit yourself to it. Okay? Now, he said that through questioning, we gain understanding of what we are in the greater scheme of things and what modern technology has brought us. Through us questioning, we build the way of knowing the truth of who we are in the world. Thus, humans need to take a step back and reassess who they were, who they are, and who they are becoming in the midst of technology in this day and age. So, meron nagsabi sa akin dati na the, the, by the time you question yourself, you are in your right path. Okay? By the time na nire-reassess mo kung ano ka, you are growing. Okay? By the time na nire-assess mo kung ano na nga ba ang meron ka sa buhay, it means you are simply growing. So, the way, by the time you question your existence itself, that means you are growing. There is growth in yourself. Okay? So, 
human flourishing in progress and development said by Jason Hickel that through questioning we gain understanding of what we are in the greater scheme of things and what modern technology has brought us through us questioning we built the way of knowing the truth of who we are in the world okay does human need to take a step back and reassess who they were who they are and who they are becoming of the midst in the midst of technology in this day and age okay there will come a time in your life that you will question your existence and i will tell you that you are on the right track as long as you question why you exist you matter that means you are growing okay um there is nothing wrong in finding answers at at least um you are assessing or reassessing your existence and that is a good sign that you are growing inside and that is how growth comes from okay so by the time that you question your existence always remember that you are in the right track okay so that concludes our discussion for today i hope you understand something and um thank you and good day